Maryland Federation of Art. And welcome to the 20th Paint Annapolis. Paint Annapolis was started by the Mid-Atlantic Plein Air Painters Association 20 years ago, and it's continued by Maryland Federation of Art. This year, Paint Annapolis brought more than 100 artists to our historic city to interpret our streets, our waterways, our buildings, and the countryside in oil, watercolor, pastel, and acrylic. acrylic. The work produced by these artists is extraordinary, and we have it all for exhibition and sales at Circle Gallery, 18 State Circle, and at the Paint Annapolis pop-up at Four Church Circle. And I want to thank these artists for all their efforts this week in making Annapolis more artistic. This event wouldn't happen without the support of companies and individuals who believe that art is important to the soul of the community. Several of our awards are sponsored by significant contributions to Paint Annapolis. And I especially want to thank National Harbor, PNC Bank, and our title sponsor, Annapolis Subaru, for their gen generous continued support. There were many MFA members who signed up to stamp work, check the work in, and hang the work on the walls. And they have been invaluable this week. And I also wanna thank the families who hosted an artist. Many of these artists come from out of town and we ask local families to put an artist up for a week. Um, it's a great way to get involved in the event. I have sponsored or hosted uh, an artist since before MFA took over the event, and it's a wonderful way to get involved. And finally, I want to thank the MFA staff who has worked for months to get this event going. Martha Campbell, Laura Cardi, our interns Callie, Stephanie, and Julie, and our new executive, our new assistant executive director, Ann Cole. And they're the reasons that this event runs so smoothly. So now let's get to the awards. This year, thanks to MFA board member Morgan Dwyer, we had a number of students who came in out to paint. Their work is on display at Four Church Circle. Awards were selected by Emily Kohlenstein, former curator at Maryland Hall for the Creative Arts, and their prizes were donated by Art Thinks. And so third place for student awards is Izzy Pazillo. I'm sorry I made us walk so much in acrylic and watercolor. Second place is Jonathan Storch from Fleet Street Park in oil. And first place goes to Piper Andrus, Grand Victoria in watercolor. We also had more than 80 public artists who came out to paint. Most of them in the Mid-Atlantic region, but many came from far away, stayed for the week and painted. There are several awards for these artists. The first is the Annapolis Gallery Association Award. This is selected by the gallerists um, who are in Annapolis and they voted for Laurie Yates, Eastport Front Row Seat. To give the nocturne and a first, second, and third, I want to invite Bruno Baran to the screen. Bruno is the president of the Mid-Atlantic Plein Air Painters Association. They founded this event, and they continue to generously support this event. And it's their members that really come out and paint and make this so exciting. So Bruno, with that, I will let you give the awards. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> the Nocturne Award was uh, was a tough one to, to call. When I first went in to look at the different paintings that were in that room, I noticed one that drew me in right away, but then this little one kept calling me to the side. And that little painting is As the Lights Go On. It's a fun little painting. It's a, it's a little gem. Um, I love the way the, the lights of the cars go back. Uh, it, it's just a delightful little painting. So that's our nocturne. 
Okay, thanks, Bruno. And now can you give the third, second, and first awards Okay. for the public painters? Okay, the third place award goes to uh, a painting called Flower Market um, by Amanda Milner. It's a it has a great variety of uh, directions of strokes of color, uh, the warm versus cool and the dark areas, uh, the lights and darks. I, I really enjoyed the aggressive strokes of uh, red browns and the contrast uh, with the lights of those yellows. And um, I just really enjoyed the variety of, of directions that she utilized to create the different flowers. Uh, some of them were just one little flicks. Uh, others were two or three little flicks with a little dot in the middle, but it just, it was, it's a great little painting. Second place goes to uh, Waterfront Meditation. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this painting. I was drawn in. It looks much better in person. You have to come and see it um, on the screen. It looks a little washed out, I'm sorry. Um, but I love the way she utilized the cool blue greens of the water against the water that's in the twilight. It's, it's very warm. Um, I love the way she used the horizon line. She pushed it up, up top with the little building. You can hardly see it. Um, and then as you move to the um, right side of the painting with the uh, reeds, um, it's a great little painting because it, 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 the reds in it work out real well. Uh, I just wish she wouldn't have put so much red in the rocks or else I think that one might've went to number one. Uh, but I, I really, I love the way she handled the paint and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a nice little painting, really enjoyed it. And number one goes to Dinghies and Ducks. I like saying that too, it's rather funny. Uh, Kathleen Gray Farthing, did I say that correct? Um, I really enjoyed this one. I, I enjoyed the use of vertical and horizontal lines, uh, the way she uh, utilized them to pull us into the picture. Uh, I love the use of the purple against uh, and the blue with the yellow of the boat and the reflection. Um, it was just a fun little painting. It had some really good strong push and pulls. Um, and then of course, who, who can't help but like ducks? <laughs> um, and that, that was a little humor to a rather very calm painting. And I really enjoyed it. So those are it. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. Thanks, Bruno. Um, Mapapa has been such a strong, part of Paint Annapolis. And I really appreciate you taking the time to jury the awards. And we know that Paint Annapolis has become a big part of this city itself. And this year, Mayor Gavin Buckley came by and he picked three of the public painters to receive awards that were selected by the mayor himself. We have a brief video um, of Gavin speaking about the awards, and then we will show you the images so that you can see the work that he selected. Hi, I'm Mayor Gavin Buckley here for my second judging of Paint Annapolis. This is one of my favorite things that happens around the city. Um, I'm judging the public piece of Paint Annapolis. Um, I've come up with three uh, of my favorites. Uh, not that all of the paintings weren't amazing, but um, I will tell you the three that I liked this year the first one I loved was uh, uh, Kensick Rollins uh, Brood X Eastport. I loved that he brought in the cicadas into his work. I loved that it was a pretty piece of Annapolis, a lovely little beach, one of the reasons that we live here. So he got third in my selection. Um, after that was uh, Jim Rahek for Truxton Park Dock. Um, I love Truxton Park. I love the way he interpreted it. It's one of the places that I walk with in my with my wife and our dogs, and um, I know exactly where he has done that from. And it was very clever and very well done. So uh, Jim Rahick uh, gets my second pick. 
Um, and in first place for my picks was Maggie Safadi and her Rainbows on Main. I love that interpretation of the Treaty of Paris building and, and that view from the top of Main Street, which I do think is one of the uh, showstoppers um, when you come to the city of Annapolis. When you stand at the top of Main Street, you see that building, you see the water, you fall in love. I love her interpretation uh, of bringing in the rainbow flags, bringing in the family at the top of Main Street and the way she, uh, that modern piece uh, w was really one of my favorites or my favorite. So congratulations, uh, Maggie, uh, you're my winner. Um, all of the artists this year were winners. Uh, I love that you came to the city that you did what you did for the city. Obviously, we love public art. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, thank you, and looking forward to next year's event. In third place for the public artists is Jim Rahab, Truxton Park Dock. Gavin was instantly drawn to this one. He walked in and he goes, oh, well, I know I want to look at this. He loved the blues and he loved the dome in the back. And it was really the first painting that caught his eye. Second place, goes to Kinsey Rollin. It was, I think, the cicadas that really drew Gavin to this image. Just the humor of where we are right now in this year, um, as we come out of hibernation and the cicadas are coming out of hibernation. And that was one of the reasons I think he painted, he picked the painting. And first place goes to Maggie Safardi, Rainbows on Main in oil. We have all talked about this painting where the buildings are so realistic and the, the people look like they're out of a 1960s magazine advertisement. It has a lot of movement. It shows a lot of busyness on the street and it's a really wonderful piece to come and see in person. So those were the awards selected by Gavin. Um, Check our Facebook page and we'll see if we can get the video working and get it up on Facebook in the next couple of days. We're now going to move on to the Jury Artists Awards. Um, the Jury Artists were selected to participate. We had over 120 artists who applied in the fall of 2019. And they were to be painting in June of 2020. Well, obviously that couldn't happen. So we were able to put the event on hold until September um, where this, this group that could come came and painted. And then we held that group over again until, uh, this, June, until this June so that we could hold Paint Annapolis. Um, many, typically we have 30 juried artists, but several couldn't come. We had four that were supposed to come from Europe, two from Canada. But we did do have 19 professional artists from 10 different states who painted in our streets and whose art hangs on our walls. So the first juried artist award is the Artist Choice Award. This is sponsored by longtime supporters of Paint Annapolis and true collectors of plein air work, Chris and Kathy Potter. And they feel strongly enough that the artist should be able to select who they think um, best represents the festival that year. And so they put an effort behind funding this award. And you too could fund an award if there's something that appeals to you. And the Juried Artist Award goes to Mark Anderson. Mark's from Wisconsin. This is his first year in Paint Annapolis. And it's a lot harder your first year in an event when you don't know, for example, that you can't get to Eastport from Annapolis except going all the way around Spot Creek. So, um, so congratulations, Mark, on your award. The second Juried Artist Award was selected by the Annapolis Gallery Association. Again, these are the gallerists from around town who come and vote for an artist. And that award goes to Neil Hughes. So the next juried artist awards are our nocturne awards. We ask our artists to paint Wednesday night. Um, the city is different at night. A nocturne presents a different palette. The light is different. It's a different challenge. And you've got to remember these four artists have been painting all week in this heat. And then they're staying up till two or three in the morning to finish a nocturne. So I'm going to ask Joe Fleming 
of Joe Fleming's Art Gallery on Maryland Avenue to present, she selected the Nocturne Awards. So I'm gonna ask her to present the Nocturne Awards. Hi there. Um, Joe. To, hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah. great. Um, as as Joanne said, I'm um, the owner of Joe Fleming Contemporary Art on Maryland Avenue, just a block away from Maryland Federation of the Arts. And I'm just delighted to uh, have been invited to jury this particular event. Um, some years I've gotten out more to see the artists on uh, in painting in the city, but this year the weather was either very hot or very uh, rainy or something it, it really and also uh, other activities kept me away from seeing them so there's an incredible surprise at what I was able to see of their incredible their amazing productivity and uh, all of the uh, paintings that were um, juried for the nocturne were excellent I suppose I should start with the third place selection and I hope that you'll post the picture of that um the artist is Stuart White. And I selected this piece because it had an incredible ambiance and mood of the evening and activity and social aspect of nighttime in Annapolis. And it also uh, captured a kind of an intimacy uh, of the, these people actively pursuing you know, their, their dinner and conversation and so forth. So the piece really spoke to me because it was vibrant even though obviously evening, but it, it uh, did represent nicely this mood of uh, activity at night. Uh, my, my second place uh, painting was by Krista Paisano. And actually this photograph does not do the piece justice. Although what I'm seeing on my computer is larger than the actual painting. It's tiny, only six inches uh, wide. But I thought what was kind of marvelous about the piece was with a very few um, well-placed brush strokes, she was able to accomplish a definition and a sparkle. Um, these dots of light create a beautiful sparkle to the evening uh, sky. And it does uh, somehow look familiar, although uh, there's something very mysterious about this small work, but I thought it was exquisite. And I, I might also add it was beautifully presented and the frame fit the uh, piece so perfectly that it was very strong um, in that regard. So um, my first place uh, goes to uh, Neil Hughes. And I uh, Interesting that I shared the uh, one of the other uh, choice awards, but this particular painting I thought was exquisite and large. And I was so amazed about the produ productivity of this one in such a short time. Um, I happen to walk around the city dock every day and it's very familiar to me, all the spots along the way. And yet when I saw this painting, I was seeing something I had never seen before. And it really just, it's sort of, became an opposite image of what you're used to seeing. So instead of, uh, you know, it had a great light and um, you're kind of focusing on the insides of the buildings instead of the outside. It was just wonderful and it had wonderful atmosphere to it. Just, just a lovely work. And somehow um, the buildings and the, the state house is so well um, illustrated in this particular painting. And I see paintings of it so often, but somehow there's, a subtlety with the darkness of the top of the dome blending in with the sky. And I thought it was just exquisite uh, the way it was accomplished. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to make my choice. And I hope you agree. This is a beautiful painting. Thanks so much, Joe. You're welcome. Um, I want to say that our first place juried artist award for the Nocturne was sponsored by Luna Blue Restaurant. They had a special wine dinner last night and we were the beneficiary um, of that dinner. And Erin uh, just does a great job with that. And I really appreciate the support that she gives lots of nonprofits in Annapolis. So now we have our juror who selected the jury prizes. And he is certainly no stranger to the Annapolis art scene. Richard Neworth taught at Anne Arundel Community College for almost 40 years and was head of the art department for 18. 
I think he's one of the reasons that Anne Arundel Community College was recently selected the best community college in the country. He developed the Anne Arundel County uh, Anne Arundel Community College to MICA so that students who can't afford four years at MICA can do work at the community college and then go to MICA. Uh, one of our interns, Julie, is getting ready to enter that program. And we're so happy that it exists for her and for other art students. Um, Richard brings years of experience to this. He's a plein air painter himself. He has a piece over at the pop-up gallery that I hope everybody comes and sees. And so with that, I want Richard to come and he will give some comments, some brief comments in the beginning, and then some longer comments when we get to first, second, and third about the awards that he's presented. So the first award is for figurative and landscape, and it goes to Ray Ewing for conversations at the dock. Yes, and I'd like to comment on this painting uh, because the figures are presented in a very strong contrast uh, in sunlight, which has a real sparkle to the composition. They're played off against a very dark background, which forces the figures to become even more dominant in the composition. So uh, Ray Ewing, again, receives the uh, Figurative in the Landscape Award. Thank you. Our second award is the Artist Diaz Memorial Award for the Use of Light. Artist was the wife of David Diaz. She was a big supporter of plein air, of Paint Annapolis and traveled with David to numerous events. Um, this, the, the funding for this award was raised by her many, many friends. Um, so it's an, it's, it's an endowed award. And every year we are able to present this thanks to contributions made in her memory. And this year, the award for use of light goes to Jill Glassman for Fallen. And this painting stands out very strongly. Uh, it, very dominant uh, tree limb extending out into space, pulls the viewer into the composition with very, very strong uh, light shining from behind, backlit. A very powerful individual painting, which is directly and very boldly painted. I must say, in the most direct manner. Thanks, Richard. You're welcome. The next award is for Annapolis Architecture. And that award goes to Neil Hughes for Aqua House Flowers. Uh, and I love this painting. This is one of the first paintings that grabbed my attention uh, when I walked into the gallery. The uh, porch, which is rendered in very strong white uh, pillars and detail, stands out so boldly against the darker tones of the house. It really invites the viewer into the composition and is very effective. Painting. Okay, the next award is the Urban Landscape Award. Uh, oh, no, it's Houghton County Award. Sorry. Um, we ask the jury artists if they want to, they can go out of Annapolis one day and paint out in the county. And that award goes to David Diaz for the Golden Hour. Yes, and David has just done a wonderful job of representing the warm light uh, late in the day. You can see the golden light as it plays across the uh, surface of the canvas and illuminates the silos and the other structures in the composition. Uh, a wonderful, beautiful yellow foreground contrasted against a very warm sky. It's a beautiful painting. Our next award is the Urban Landscape Award, and it's sponsored by Galway Bay. And the award goes to Matt Barber Kennedy for his painting of Old Fox Books. And this painting is delightful in the way that it immediately attracts your attention. But then as you move in, uh, you find that as you move in and closer, more detail presents itself. The viewer is really invited into the painting and participates and discovers all these wonderful little details in the composition. It's a fantastic painting. Our next award is the Har Harbor Award, and it's sponsored by National Harbor. National Harbor and Kent Digby have been longtime supporters of Paint Annapolis, and the award this year goes to Craig Reynolds for Backyard Oysterman. And again, this is a wonderful picturesque uh, harbor scene 
in which two really traditional uh, uh, Tuskegee Bay water boatmen boats are presented in really strong uh, sunlight. The two point into each other, uh, kind of directing the viewer's attention into the center uh, and holding the attention in the composition. So a beautiful painting. So now we move to the third, second, and first place awards. And our third place award goes to Allison Berry for Morning Calm. Uh, <laughs> again, another painting that uh, attracts your attention. Allison has done the most fantastic job of catching the early morning light in very soft pastel tones. And uh, to bring your attention into the composition, she strategically uses a bright red flag in the one boat, which is echoed by another red off to the left side of the composition. And then as you dig further into the painting, you find the sparkle highlights that are playing across the surface, which ties the composition together and kind of creates a mood. Beautiful painting. Okay, our second place award is presented by PNC Bank. And I just want to talk about PNC for a minute before I introduce Melanie Farragut, PNC. Now, every small business has a bank, but not every small business has a banker. So I knew that my husband's company had a banker. He had someone he could call when he had a problem or somebody who called him and said, hey, what's going on with you? And when we switched to PNC Bank on March, 14th of 2020, the day before we shut down, I did not know that I was getting a banker. I didn't know an organization like MFA could have a banker. But PNC, Melanie, Grace, the entire PNC team has been there with us during probably the most stressful economic year that we've been through. Um, I started in 2008. I thought that was bad, but I didn't have enough imagination to think it could get worse. And PNC was there for us for both of our PPP loans to help us figure out how we were going to navigate this year. And I could not be more grateful to their entire team for what they have done for MFA this year. So with that, I want to introduce Melanie Farragut of PNC Bank. Hi, Joanne. Thanks so much. And I have to also say that we appreciate being your community partner. Uh, you have been um, a, a proponent and we are very happy to always support you. I have to say when I came down uh, and I live in the community, obviously, uh, but I was walking around looking at all the painters and the paintings and some of which I saw win an award today, uh, really felt that you were representing uh, the artists, the arts, uh, in Annapolis, and we are just thrilled to still be a part of this with you, and I look forward to a long-term uh, partnership. And I want to have the great honor of doing our second place award for this evening. Uh, and our second place award will go to Lon Brower. Congratulations, Lon Brower. Actually, Lon is what I would call a painter's painter. He paints in the most bold, direct manner, uh, uses a full range of markings across the paint surface. And uh, yet he's able to tie all of these marks and variations together into a cohesive composition, which is very beautifully organized and presented. So Lon, nice job. I, mean, I watched Lon paint this painting. It was very, very hot. It was very, very muggy. The, workers were out there in even worse conditions than Lon was out there in. And he managed to capture the motion of that work um, and the work that the bricklayers are doing in his work. Um, and so our first place award, our best in show award, is will be presented by Michelle Eichhorn of Annapolis Subaru. If you've been to any MFA event, you know that the Annapolis Cars family are our best friends. Um, from their support of Paint Annapolis from the very beginning when we took it over, and their support through Volvo Cars Annapolis for Collector's Choice, our fundraiser in the fall. We simply could not do what we do without the support of the Annapolis Cars family, Annapolis Subaru, and Volvo Cars Annapolis. Um, 
when my car died one time on 50, I called Michelle. I said, I have to have a car by tomorrow morning. And the team worked with me not to get me the car that they wanted to sell me, but to get me the car that I wanted to buy. And that's the way I think you should be treated when you go get a car. So Martha and I both drive Subarus. Um, they're both parked out in front of the gallery right now. And we could not be happier to have Michelle present our first best of work. Thanks, Sharon. Um, we are just overjoyed to be part of this event this year. We were coming through last year, and these artists have brought such uh, light to a kind of a dark time here. So we're happy to be here. And it's uh, my honor to present Stuart White, the uh, for his painting of house painters <laughs> in action. Uh, really, really a wonderful piece of work. Richard, I wanted to tell you why you picked that first one. Uh, yes, the painting itself is uh, just a dynamic arrangement of diagonal ladders represented in white, played off against a dark background, which makes it for a very forceful and effective composition. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that Stuart also introduces on the one side uh, organic matter, trees, organic forms, the contrast of ge geometry and uh, geometric composition. So, uh, Stuart, beautiful painting, outstanding. So, with that, uh, that's our awards presentation for Paint Annapolis. Um, we will be open at 10 o'clock at both locations tomorrow. Uh, the folks have been ringing off the hook with people who want to know when we're open, when they can come see the work. Uh, it's so exciting to know that people now know what Paint Annapolis is, what plein air is. They look forward to the artists coming. They look forward to collecting their work. And we hope to see you in one of the galleries in the next few days. The exhibit will be at Circle Gallery and the pop-up um, at Circle Gallery until the 19th of this month. And then we will move everything here to Four Church Circle where it will stay through the 26th of June. So you have a month to see the work, it will be disappearing off the walls, so you'll want to come see it early. But uh, but we're absolutely delighted to bring all this work to you. Thank you so much to the many talented artists for sharing your talent, your time, your effort. This year, your sweat with us. Um, it was not perfect conditions like we had last September, but this is one of the strongest bodies of work for painted Atlas that we have ever had. I'm so impressed. I'm so thankful. And so thank you very much for joining us this evening.